January 25th, 2011. It's a sunny day in Billings, Montana, and Daisy the Ferret is looking for an easy score. She has heard of a local high-stakes poker game. Daisy is no stranger to crime. She has already robbed two other poker games. She begins scoping the place out, looking for an opportunity to strike. Without warning, she grabs the cash. She is so excited when she sees how much she actually scored, she now grows overconfident. Just then, the police swarm in and corner her. Daisy tries to make a run for it, but police had her outnumbered and soon, Daisy is caught in the act. Daisy the Ferret is charged with three armed robberies and sentenced to 10 years. Then Daisy is given bad news. She is denied parole and is told it could be years before she is released. Well, when I got the letter, I thought, damn, I was not about to stay in this dump for the next 10 years. Daisy becomes a trusted inmate to the guards, so she is now allowed to have her cell door open and she can come and go. Daisy knows she only has one chance to escape. One day, while in the yard, Daisy makes a daring decision. At the opportune time, she decides to make her escape and climb the prison wall. Well, I knew if I was going to escape, I'd have to climb the prison wall. So I did. Daisy the ferret has broke free and again is on the run. She continues to elude the police, hiding anywhere possible, sometimes even playing a little cat and mouse with them. Well, I did think I was invincible. Every time the cops showed up, I seemed to be one step ahead. Daisy the ferret was now on a crime spree. She was stealing anything she can get her claws onto including candy, cigarettes, and even started hitting the hard stuff, Pepsi. But now it was all running out and she needed more cash. Daisy was now on the loose and was planning her next move. She sat and thought methodically on what she was going to do. She needed more money and now knew where to go. Back to the high stakes poker game. I knew if I could get back to the poker games, it would be a piece of cake. After all, I had already taken down three. Daisy is a hardened criminal and is considered highly dangerous. Police then rounded up all of Daisy's friends for clues, but that didn't seem to help. Daisy the ferret, she good friend. When she come over, I know eat her. So I tell police nothing. So when the cops were asking me about Daisy Bad, I thought, no way, Bad. So when they asked, I told them, I don't remember, dude. Just like that, just like that. I don't remember. Hell yes, I knew where Daisy was, Shoo. But I wasn't about to tell them mother cops anything. Oh, the lazy. You go find your snitch somewhere else, homeboy. When they asked me about Daisy, I just kept saying, who? Who? When the cops dragged me in, they recommended me not to keep my mouth shut. And I recommend that I do. Sorry about that. Would you believe you missed her by that much? I told him, looky here, you young whippersnapper. I'm old enough to be your granddaddy. Don't you harass me, sonny boy. When they hauled me in, I told them. I know a rocky raccoon, but not a daisy. All I was saying is, 
give peace a chance, you know. When they asked who would rat out Daisy, I told them I will. Yeah, I will. To hell I will. Yeah, when the feds tried to shake me down, I told them I ain't no stoolie. When they asked me to help pinch Daisy, I told them, forget about it. Well, I told them I don't be knowing. I was really drunk at the time. When Irish eyes are smiling. Then cops got the break they were looking for. As smart as Daisy is, she is just as stupid. She had posted her next move on her Facebook page. They are tipped off that Daisy has went to the high stakes poker game. As police come in and corner her, she bites one of the police officers as she makes her getaway. She stops for the cash but decides that might not be a wise decision. As she was going to make her jump, police corner her once again, only for her to again Bite one of the officers. Now, not knowing what to do, she uses an old ploy. It always works. Play dead. The police are surprised as Daisy runs away again and escapes. <coughs> police now have Daisy the ferret cornered. They're using the old ball trick, but it doesn't seem to work. She is now hiding out. The police now decide to use the bandits. Not even Daisy can resist these. And that is how Daisy the ferret was caught and nearly almost got away. Daisy the ferret is now doing a life term. Since she has been captured, the prison has reconstructed the wall so not even Daisy the ferret can escape. Now all Daisy can do is just lay around and do nothing. I nearly got away with it.